Longham on the wall. Fires. Scores in front. It's Brown with four seconds remaining. Put a five spot in the second period. Unbelievable. There, let's talk about your scoring prowess. 25 goals in the last 49 games. I mean, that may be the most incredible stat that maybe no one's talking about. You know, I, I don't think it's just it's all my doing. I think uh, my line mates have, have played a big part in that. Uh, at the end of the last year, I played with uh, Albert Gerdakis and, and Gabe as well. They're just a uh, couple players that I think we work well together. Albert's a very good passer. Um, Gabe's kind of more of an all-around guy. And I think we, we cycle the puck in the corner well and create opportunities. And I've just been the guy that's been, able, been fortunate enough to be able to put the puck in there. Right on in front. Brown with the deflection. Eric, it just brings a, a, a real... Uh, strength to that line. He's got great size. He's got great quickness. His first steps are very quick for a big guy. And when he uses his size, that it's a hard guy to get the puck off of. And, and when he's in tight, he not only can he use some of that quickness that we talked about, but his uh, strength, but he's got great hands. So he's good, got good hands around the net and he's able to finish. Brown tapping over to Gerdakis. Gerdakis in front. Brown fires and scores. Eric Brown. With the goal, his team leading 14th in the Tiger. I'm sure you're aware of your plus minuses is one of the best in the league, so you're playing on both ends of the ice. Yeah, I definitely take pride in that. I remember growing up, um, one of the first things my dad would always ask me um, after a game it wasn't, how do you think you played or whatever. It was my impact on the ice, not just, you know, am I scoring or am I in the right places defensively and making an overall impact on the game. Because if you're scoring a goal but you're... You're on the ice for two against. You're not having a really positive impact on the game. He's uh, managed to become a, a even or plus one or plus two, and the team that the, they were taking their top line and, and also uh, uh, tagging a negative on them. And uh, uh, I think that that bodes well for our team. That we that's a good matchup. We don't have to put necessarily just checkers against the other team's top line. We can play our top line against them, and then we're able to do other things with our other lines that. Uh, that I think are beneficial to us. When you're now being the coach, where do you, what would you like to see him do better if there are things he can do better? What are some of the flaws if there are any? Yeah, in this game? no, there's always flaws. There's always things you can get better at. Uh, you know, still puck protection, still not opening up and making it easy to get people the, uh, the puck off of you. He's still got to protect it, and, and he continues to work on that. Being very consistent and getting the pucks out of our end. Uh, and when I say consistent, uh, if you want to make it at another level, it can't be 9 out of 10. It has to be 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10 is, is what people in the minors do, and, 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 and 8 or 7 out of 10 is, is you, you don't get anything from it. Every year, regardless of of my point production or, or, or how well I played the previous year. I'm always looking to come back and be a, a better, bigger, faster, stronger player. I trained this summer with, with some pros and stuff like that. Ryan Callahan, Brian Gionta. So I really tried to um, watch those guys, pick up on little things. I know he's garnering some tension from the NHL. Uh, people have come in and watched him and, and, and continue to come back, which means they must have liked something they saw the first time. So I, you know, I think there's something there for his future as well. Maybe a, a lead by example. I'm the kind of uh, the player that goes out there and he does his job in the ice. He works hard. Um, he gives that second effort, and, and I've always played like that. And I hope that guys, you know, maybe maybe look at me um, in that light and go, huh? Brownie's working a little extra hard. Maybe I should work equally as hard and stuff like that.